All right, y'all, what's going on? You already know who it is. You know what? It's your boy JP coming to y'all with another how to. And today I'm going to show you how to use this uh, steering wheel control, Control Pro from uh, PAC. This is the SWE CP2, and I got a 2014 uh, Nissan Sentra. And we're going to hook up the steering wheel controls by using this module. Now, it does come with your paperwork, and it also comes with this, but I like going by this quick start guide because you can either download the app or you can actually download. Uh, this this part right here on PAX website and download it to the computer so that's what we're going to be using today and uh, it's very simple because your first set of dip switches this is going to let you know uh, this is telling the freaking control what car it is the second set of dip switches is telling the CP2 what radio we have so when we go into here and we select the car and then select the radio. It's already programmed. All we had to do was wire it up after that. So it's pretty simple. No more uh, pressing the button to make sure you count as many flashes. Nah, hit the dip switches, wire it up, and it's gonna work automatically. So let's go to the app. So right here, we're gonna go to our Control Pro app. All right, next, we're just gonna go right here to Sweet CP2. We're gonna click that and we're going to be using the dip switches um you can configure everything by flashing it uh from the computer but uh we're just going to go with dip switches so all right so next you'll have this screen is going to ask you uh what car you have and what uh radio you have i already went in and said i have a uh, 2014 nissan sentra down here is like a trim level is a navigation bluetooth or no we're going to go with the no option we have a sony radio and then now I'm just gonna go down here to uh, next. All right, so boom, so these is how we need to set our dip switches. This is going to be for our car, and this is going to be for the radio. So of course you want number one up, two and three down, four, five and six up, seven down, eight up, one, two, three up, and four down. And that's gonna let our car communicate with the radio for the steering wheel controls. So in the end, it should look like that. One up, two, three down, four, five, six up, seven down, eight up, and one, two, three down, four up for the radio. All right, so now that we got our dip switches and stuff right, I'm gonna go ahead and press next. And it's gonna show us the, uh, the actual wire colors and what harness that we actually need to hook up to. So uh, right here it shows you that these wire colors are coming from our module and these wire colors is going to the car so it's just showing you that you need to connect our module wires to the car wires in the plug that looks like this it's going to be a 20 pin plug and we're going to be using pins 6 7 15 16 and 19. so right here black is going to be a uh, ground going to chassis ground this other one is going to be the steering wheel control ground it's like the reference ground it's going to go to pin 15 and that's going to be a purple wire the yellow one is going to go to the yellow over here which is pin 19 that should be our 12 volt constant we also have a red accessory wire which is our ignition wire going to go to pin 7 which is going to be a pink wire on the car and the two uh, wires that's actually going to um, be controlling all of our functions is gonna be white and white with black. They're gonna be going to pin six and 16. So we're gonna be looking for a green and red wire. So the good thing about actually looking at this connector um, is that we can see which pin we need to tap into. We're gonna be doing military splices and we can see which color they should be. So this is a good reference. I love the fact that they do this. So we know that pin six and pin 16 are gonna be diagonal from each other. So pin six should be green, pin 16 should be red. That's gonna let us know which ones we need to tap into for our white and our white with black. So what I usually like to do um, inside the harness, the blacks are pretty much coming at the same pin. So I like to take one of the blacks and just tie it, tie it into what's going on to the uh, CD player harness. So this black, this yellow, and this red. I know that this has to be grounded, this has to go to 12 volts constant, and this one has to go to ignition. So since my radio has to do the same thing, I'm just gonna tie in the black with black, the yellow with yellow, and the red with red on my 
Sony wiring harness and the other ones I will make my connections at this harness so let's get to wiring that up also it's going to show that on the back of the radio we're going to be using the 3.5 millimeter jack and it should plug right into the back of the radio um, if you are using a Kenwood or a JVC radio then the back of this is not going to have a 3.5 jack for the steering wheel controls it'll have a blue wire with a yellow stripe so then you will have to you will have to uh, hook up the blue wire with the yellow stripe that comes on the harness but since we're not going to use that we're just going to cap it off and then plug that right in so let's get to wiring it up this is how I got it wired up we have our red black and yellow tapped into the red black and yellow going on the uh, harness that's going to the car so that's just tied in I also have the white and the white and black I mean here's the white and black here's the white and that's the ground so these are going to be my connections that's actually going to the car now coming off of the harness you're going to have all of these colors now we're not going to use all of these because our we don't need them. Our, our instruction says we don't need the pink, the purple, the red, or white stripe, all that kind of stuff. We don't need those. Only, thing, only ones we need are these three. So I cut them right here, taped it off to where it's like kind of nice and neat. You have the main connector that goes in that side. Then you have the steering wheel control connector that goes in that side. And that's going to give us our 3.5 millimeter jack. And here is that blue wire with the yellow stripe that I was telling you guys about. We're not using the Kenwood, so we don't have to worry about that. Or JVC, we will be using the 3.5. So now let's go to a harness, find these wires, tap into them, and we should be done. We are back inside the car right now. I have my 70, 75, 52 harness actually plugged in and we are going to, I uh, already got the wires already hooked up. So um, if you guys know, this is actually pin 19 and then we're just gonna count to the left, 18, 17, 16, and 15. So 16 and 15, remember we're purple and red. So purple's 15, that's where our ground goes to. That's where the other black has just been kind of military spliced in. Uh, number 16 was the red. Is where our analog number two went in the white with the black stripe military spliced it and directly from the uh, 16 pin was pin six it was green and as you can see I spread them out there's the red wire there's the red wire in the back and directly across is this green that's where our analog one comes in so I'm gonna drop a little bead of solder on this and then hit it with some electrical tape and then we're gonna go ahead and go on with the install I will plug this in the back of the Sony radio and uh, I'm pretty I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it all together I'm pretty sure that it's gonna work but uh let's go ahead and see what happens all right y'all let's see if it works Perfect. Channel up, channel down, volume up, source. All right, there it is, man. So uh, everything works perfectly. If you guys found any value in this video, please hit slam that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, this is JP signing out.